Well, as you can see, it's still dark outside. We've got up super early today because we're just about to go on a brand new adventure with Aston Martin and this unbelievable, I think it's Hyper Red Roadster. Rahul's just arrived at the gate, so uh, I'm gonna get that. But it's gonna be a good one. I'm gonna be heading to the Peak District, then to the Lake District. Let's do this. Well, so far we've managed to stop off for a little bit of breakfast at a service station. And I have to say, the drive of this vehicle is exactly what I'd expect it to be. Absolutely beautiful, really enjoying it. I obviously feel very familiar with the car because it's very similar to my Vantage. In fact, it's pretty much identical. The only difference is the fact that this one's got a button to take the roof down and mine doesn't. Um, so, absolutely love it. I think that's something that's really important to note actually, that whenever I have a car, I normally get bored after about two or three years and I'm ready to change it. I've already had my car for three years and I still get so excited and it's so fulfilling driving the Vantage day in, day out, and I'm not bored of it at all. So I think that's um, credit to what the guys at Aston Martin have done um, because it's just a car that just keeps on giving. It's just so nice to drive. So we are going to continue on our journey to the Peak District. We're gonna be stopping off at a place called Chrome Hill. Uh, that's gonna be our first official stop. Fingers crossed we don't get too wet. I've checked the weather. We've got like an 80 to 100% chance of rain every day that we're here and we're here until Wednesday. So not the best weather forecast, but we'll try and do what we can with it and uh, get out in the car and enjoy the roads. Um, we found a few nice passes that we're gonna drive through as well. So yeah, it'll be what it will be and uh, we'll try and enjoy it as much as we can. Right, another little update from the car. We arrived to Chrome Hill, which was a little detour um, en route to the hotel that we're gonna be staying at this evening in the Peak District. Firstly, I cannot believe how many farms have got stone walled land. I can't remember if that's a common thing, but certainly where we live, it's all like hedge line. And here, they're all stone walls. It must have been such a huge job to install all of those walls, but anyway, the reason why I'm jumping on the camera and we're not currently hiking up Chrome Hill is because the weather is particularly bad. It's very misty and foggy and I think that because of that, the vision of the hill from the viewpoint, the vista point that we were going to take our photos from, it would have been a lot of work to have got those shots and not a lot of reward. So we made the executive decision that it wouldn't be worth going up there to take any photos because we'll just get absolutely soaked, we'll get caked in mud and we probably won't be happy with the content because you can hardly see the hill itself. So it would be like Wales all over again that time where we went up to uh, Castle in the Wind and we ended up seeing absolutely nothing. Well, pretty much nothing anyway. It was very bad visibility. So if I just quickly spin the camera around, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So that right there is Chrome Hill. And as you can see, it's very gray, very wet and you can hardly see anything. The idea was that we were gonna kind of stand up somewhere up here and shoot with that in the background. It would look very lovely, but unfortunately, we're not gonna be getting the shot. So we're currently on our way now to Yorkshire Inn, I believe it's called, the hotel. We're gonna drop Rahul's car off and then we're gonna to go to Winnett's Pass, which is a lovely road, probably quite similar to this um, in some elements, but a little bit more dramatic around the edges with some very sort of mountain-esque kind of road so yeah fingers crossed um, the weather's a little bit better over there but I'm not too hopeful because as I said the forecast wasn't looking great but I think at some point we're gonna just have to bite the bullet and take the wet and the cold we need to shoot this little puppy which is actually surprisingly quiet when you're driving it I think when you're in a convertible you kind of expect to be reminded that you're in a convertible when you're going down the M1 this is actually not like that at all there are many times throughout the drive where I kind of went into autopilot a little bit and just completely forgot that this wasn't my vantage. And so, and obviously I've got a hard top, this is a soft top. So I think that it's fair to say that that's a good sign that the design of the convertible roof is actually very sound, very good, because you feel very cozy and warm in here. You don't feel like you're rattling around. Very, very impressed so far with the car. And I have to say, with the roof down, I do think the Roadster looks nicer. Um, it's just when the roof's up, I like the hard top. So it's kind of like 50-50 as to which one I prefer. I think I need the Roadster for the summer and then the hard top for the other mums. But I am going to get back behind the wheel because there's a car coming the other way and we're gonna have to move. So let's uh, continue our ventures up to the northern part of the Peak District. 
Well, this wasn't part of the plan. However, Mr. Rahul Patel has one of the funniest obsessions with cleanliness. And so he's made us stop off at a jet wash at a petrol station to rinse the car down because it's got a bit of mud on the side skirts. He's got his gloves and everything. He's pre man's come prepared. He's come prepared. I love that. Yeah, yeah, that's what you want. Yeah, five, yeah. That's what it's on. Yeah. So anyway, basically guys, because the car's picked up a little bit of dirt and we're just about to photograph it, Rahul said that's not good enough. So he's decided to wash the car down. I wouldn't expect any less from you, mate. Well, we've just currently pulled over just outside of Winnett's Pass and we've been trying to get some shots actually in the pass itself. However, as you can imagine, it's very busy. So I think we've got a couple of cool shots, which is fantastic. And like I just mentioned, we've just pulled over um, just to have a quick snack and a drink. And I think that we might get out and uh, have a little hike up the hill and uh, yeah, explore it from a new perspective. And we've been very lucky, even though it's very misty today and you know, the clouds are sitting quite low, it's actually been raining, um, so we can't complain. But this is the current state of the car after it's jet wash only an hour or so ago. You see the tires have already started to uh, get a little bit dirty, so I'm sure Rahul's pulling his hair out in there. <laughs> but she's still looking very fierce sitting in front of the peaks. Just taking a little stroll through when it's pass and we're gonna park up and we're gonna head up one of these. They're hills, aren't they? Classified as hills? Yeah. It's a very busy pass. This is what I'm talking about, all those walled fields. Well, it might be a little bit windy up here. Rahul's uh, giving me some shelter with his jacket, but wasn't much of a hike, probably took about 10 minutes. Uh, it's not really the kind of place that you'd go for like a proper hike, but the views up here are lovely. It's nice to look down onto the pass to see the cars coming through. That was a blue Porsche that just went through then. I'm just gonna cool down and then uh, we're gonna take a few shots and then enjoy the views before we head back for dinner. That's a wrap for day one here in the Peak District. We managed to get the shots in Winnett's Pass. Very, very happy about it. Thanks to Rahul and his perseverance, we uh, got the job done. But we're gonna head back to the hotel now. I'm not sure if I mentioned, we're staying in the Yorkshire Bridge Inn and it looks very, very cozy, really comfortable. So we're gonna enjoy some food, probably sit in front of the open fire, which will be very, very nice. Ready to embark on our next adventure, which will be heading to the Lake District in the morning. But before we do that, we're actually just gonna quickly pop to Lady Bower Reservoir, which is almost a walking distance away from the hotel. Rahul suggests that we drive though, because it's a little bit too long of a walk. And then we are gonna to go to Derwent Dam and explore that. This is all if the weather's okay. And then we're gonna be staying at the Samling Hotel, um, which is around Windermere Lake. Um, so really looking forward to staying there actually. It looks absolutely beautiful. And then we're also gonna be going on a few little adventures around the Lake District. We're gonna explore some lakes, some mountains. Can you call them mountains? Are there mountains in the lakes? Hills. I, I never know if it's hills or mountains. I need to do a little yeah. Google on how you actually okay. identify the difference between a mountain and a hill. So anyway, it's gonna be a good little trip, but we're both very, very hungry and very tired. So we're gonna get some food and I'll uh, catch you at the hotel. Guys, you're not gonna believe it. He's back at it. He just couldn't resist. He wanted to come back to the jet wash to clean the car again. <laughs> We've been driving it around today, as you know, around when it's passed. And it was far too muddy for a hall standard. So we're back here, giving it a good old jet wash. <laughs> Gotta love him. He actually brought baby wipes with him so he could clean his shoes. And he's got very clean shoes at the moment as well. <laughs> Rahul's 
got me back on the job. Rubbing off on me, mate. <laughs> Literally rubbing off on me. Top man. Now time to move it down to the hoovering section, yeah? <laughs> oh God. This is called dedication and love for cleanliness. Makes the man happy though. Well, I've just had a quick freshen up in the hotel room, ready to go downstairs for some food. But I thought I'd quickly share with you my room. I've got a standard double today, a nice new wardrobe, nice and clean. It's obviously a very modest room, but I've got my workstation got my double bed and I've got my wardrobe and the bathroom is actually very very clean when I arrived which is always a, a nice sign when you've got a nice clean bathroom so yeah I started loading up some of the footage from today and put everything on charge so you've got the whole, whole room charging things and also this was an extension to our trip we we're actually staying at the Samlin Hotel in the Lake District with Aston Martin and me and Rahul wanted to stop off at the Peak District on the way up. So we've just done this as an overnight stay on our journey up to the Lake District, just because we thought that we're on the way, so we may as well make the most of it and stop off. It's just gonna mean that tomorrow's drive up to the lakes is gonna be a lot shorter and a lot more enjoyable. Oh yes, dinner has been served. I've gone for the pie and chips. rahul has gone for the beer, battered haddock and chips. And we've got a couple of lagers. Well, good morning. We're just checking out from the Yorkshire Bridge Inn and we're gonna be heading up to Lady Bower Reservoir, as I mentioned yesterday. A lovely stay. We're actually in the Banford area, which Rahul suggested being one of the best locations to stay in the peaks because you're quite well located. And I would agree with that. So if you ever are in the area and you want a nice overnight stay, have to say, beds are very comfortable, got a good night's sleep, then make sure you check out the Yorkshire Bridge Inn. But I'm gonna get into the Aston and uh, yeah, we're gonna, start our journey up via Lady Bower to the Lake District. Trekking to the dam. So we've decided to drive to the furthest point of the reservoir and go and see uh, the Derwent Dams and then we're going to work our way back towards Lady Bower Reservoir and see the big plug holes. I don't know much about the plug holes but I'm assuming it's to do with regulating water. They look like something out of like a Bond film, like a villain scene or something. Hopefully they're on because sometimes apparently it's dry and I guess that's to do with water levels but fingers crossed today we get to see them working and we were just speaking then saying it would be really great actually to try and get some video content of the Aston in this area because as you can see we've got this beautiful woodland, we've got water and it's relatively quiet in comparison to what Winnet's Pass was like yesterday so I think it would be a good opportunity to try and get a little reels or something from today. As you may have gathered this is a very content focused trip but Equally, we're getting the opportunity to explore and see some really amazing places in both the Peaks and the Lake District. This is Derwent Dam. Currently, the waters are looking very low. I think you can actually see where the white line is on that wall. That's normally where the water would sit. It's quite still today. It's not too windy, actually, which is good for the vlog, so they don't get a windy microphone. Mm -hmm. How epic is this? Looks insane. So we just quickly jumped back in the car to uh, take a break from the rain, it's just got a little bit heavier. But we just managed to get some really lovely shots actually, uh, video footage of the Aston driving through some woodlands. Uh, we sprinkled a few leaves down on the ground and kind of filmed it in slow motion, hoping to get those leaves flying through the air. So really happy with that shot, but there is more to get still. So we're gonna head down to the water side actually in a second, get some photos, take some more video footage, and then we're gonna to head to an area where you can actually be situated within the woodlands with the car. And then we're gonna film some shots of me interacting with the car basically. And hopefully we can put a nice little reels together um, for Aston as well, which will be really lovely. But yet again, We've been relatively lucky with the weather considering we were looking for it to be constantly raining and so far we've not done too badly today so we can't grumble but I think in a second we're going to get the baby wipes out and uh, clean our shoes. <laughs> he loves it. After you've headed out from there. You're not think cleaning them before we go in? 
What for? Mate, it's gonna get dirty as soon as oh, you step out. Ah, okay, now the logic's coming through. Mm -hmm. Come on. Ali Gordon, man. <laughs> everything. So anyway, we're gonna go down and get some nice photos in a second. <sighs> After the rain slows down, just a smidgen. And then we've got a two hour journey up to the lakes. So, Harry Bow is in full swing. <laughs> we're gonna need to get some fuel as well, my boy, because we're on about 30% left. It's not bad actually, we're driving quite a lot. I oh, know, I that. Good job, boy. <laughs> so, just finished shooting at Derwent Dam, and we had the umbrella to try and save us. As you can see, it's very misty, so the shots here have been uh, very compromised because I think it was very blown out and white, but very peaceful, I have to say. Nice little spot to come and visit if you're in the local area. <laughs> about to leave the reservoir and they've got a little tuck shop me and Rahul have just got some food and they sell duck feed and as you saw earlier there's a lot of ducks here so we're gonna get feed in and uh, hopefully they'll come and join us for dinner Ready? Get this. Well, good evening. As you can see, I'm in a brand new environment and that is because we have arrived now to the Lake District at the Samling Hotel. I'm actually gonna give you a little bit of a room tour in the morning because I'm running a little bit late. Dinner was supposed to be at half seven. I think I mentioned this as we were leaving the peaks. We got a little bit held up and we probably pushed it a little bit too fine with the filming. Um, so we pushed our reservation back to half eight and it's currently nearly quarter to nine. So I'm gonna get into the restaurant now because we have a five course meal to enjoy. Sounds absolutely delicious. Um, um, I'll do my best to film every course, so let's go. Parmesan tart. Oh, boss. That's why I don't do anything with one hand. So next up we've got the beef tartare with a horseradish ice cream on top, which I've never had before, so I'm looking forward to trying this. Next course we've got pumpkin sauce halibut with pumpkin seeds. Well, I've just come down to use the toilet and stumbled across this cellar. Look at the wine storage in here. That is outrageous. Well, this is the main event. We've got the venison. Actually, he's got blackberries. Ooh, looks delicious. So to finish off this evening, we've got a whiskey ice cream and chocolate cake. Obviously, there's a little bit more going on than just that, but I'm looking forward to tucking into it. Well, that was absolutely delicious. Nice little five course meal after a long drive up from the Peak District. I definitely think we made the right decision to stop off at the Peaks on the way because that was about two hours from the Peaks and to get to the Peaks was probably about two hours. Now I know that it's probably not the directest of routes but three, four hour drive wouldn't have been ideal. Uh, that is what we're going to be doing when we go home, of course, but coming up here with a little stop off at the peaks and also getting to explore the peaks as well. I think it was a good decision, but as promised, I'm going to do a little room tour and uh, show you. I've actually got a junior suite, I think it's called. Um, my room is called... I have got it somewhere. In fact, it's on my key. I'll have to show you, but anyway, let's do a little room tour. And as we come through the door, obviously we have entrance hallway, which... I've stuck all my camera gear in. And then if we take a walk through into the lounge area, you'll see that we've got a sofa, a TV, some absolutely stunning beams across the ceiling. I'm a big fan of those, they look very nice. And then a little seating area. And then just over here in the cupboard, we have the most important coffee. And then the mini bar fridge. Let's see what we've got going on in here. Oh yes, fully loaded. 
We've got some fresh milk for the morning. Good times, very important check. If we take a walk up the stairs to the master bed. <laughs> this is my bedroom. I've obviously already unpacked my boots down there. And then in my wardrobe, hung up the outfits for the next couple of days. The bathroom, which has got a massive bath in it. I also noticed when we arrived earlier that they've got the Lalique product. Very nice, always a good sign. The shower cubicle, which I had a shower earlier and during the turndown service, it's been fully cleaned. Absolutely love that. In fact, I actually got a message off of Rahul saying, have they cleaned your room? And I'm like, yes, he was like, unbelievable. I had a shower and everything and my shower's been completely cleaned. <laughs> so he's over the moon with the cleanliness of the hotel. But get myself to sleep because as you can see, if you can see that from there, it is nearly 11 p.m. Of course, we're gonna get up early tomorrow and get some breakfast and try and make the most of the day. I've also just had a card dropped on the bed that tells us tomorrow's forecast. Now, they are saying that tomorrow morning is actually gonna be cloudy and 13 degrees, but then in the afternoon, it's gonna rain. We have it down as raining all day, but if this is right, then tomorrow morning, we might get a little bit of dry weather. Um, which would be lovely and if anyone's going to know what the weather's like around here it's going to be the hotel so fingers crossed we get some dry spells in the morning and we might be able to go out and do a few shots around the lake because i'm not sure if i mentioned but the samling hotel is basically on the northern point of the windermere lake and i've never been here before to the lake district so it would be really nice to get out and explore but the hotel looks absolutely stunning so Either way, I feel like it's a little bit of a win-win. They've got a really nice lounge area with a fire. Um, they've also got a bar, so we could just chill and relax and enjoy the hotel. There'd be nothing wrong with that. Um, they've got views over the lake as well. So we'll see what happens tomorrow, but rather than sticking to the itinerary that we put together and exploring loads of places around uh, the Lake District, because um, there was a lot of places that I put on the itinerary, we might just sack it all off and stay at the hotel. But we'll see, we're just gonna play it by ear tomorrow and uh, we'll either visit places or we won't. Unfortunately, one thing we don't have control of is the weather. Well, good morning everyone. As predicted, we have a very wet start to the day. Not good for viewing lovely lakes and peaks. However, I'm gonna go down for breakfast, get myself some eggs and a coffee. And keep my fingers crossed that we can get some content today, albeit the weather isn't on our side. Well, we've just been out shooting some shots of the Aston in front of the Salmon Hotel and it's finally clearing up. Like it's doing the reverse of what it said it was gonna do. So this morning it was supposed to be raining and then this evening or this afternoon it was supposed to be absolutely hammering it down. And it's actually starting to clear up a little bit. So we were just sitting in the room and we were just like, oh my God, look, you can actually see like the views out the window across the lake, it's out. So you can actually see the edge of the lake now from the bedroom. I don't know if you can see, but just over there, it looks like there's a little boat port. We're gonna go and explore that after some lunch and see what's going on, but it's nice to finally see what's around us. Oh, I feel like we've not had visibility for like 48 hours, so. Also, I love this ivy around the window. Very picturesque. So we've just come into the reception area and this is the lounge where we're gonna be having lunch today. We've got the fire on, feeling very autumnal. Also, I don't think you're gonna see now, but there was obviously like one of the gardeners here walking around and there were two ducks following him. Obviously he feeds them when he's here. And this is our little setup where we're gonna be having lunch. How nice is that? Rahul just pointed out that they've had a little sculpture made off the hotel itself. That is where we're staying. I wonder if this used to be a house. Yeah, it was a long time ago. It was, yeah. Nice house. I might be trying a whiskey later. And also, this is where we had dinner last night. I know it was dark when we uh, were here, but it has views all across the lake. Certainly on a less wet day. A little terrace out here. It's such a shame it's raining, but that's England for you. That's the fire that we needed. 
good log storage as well, actually. Some good shots. Very Can good. I have a Diet Coke as well, please, mate? Please do. Thank you. Lovely. That is a very British lunch, isn't it? In front of the fire. A couple of sarnies, bag of crisps. Can't complain. You happy with that one, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Look at my crotch shot though. <laughs> <laughs> you, are, you look horrible. Well, we've just headed down lakeside. We're going to do a few shots on the jetty with the boats in the background. Hopefully, uh, edit up pretty nicely. A little bit of a mood. Oh wow, look at the clouds in the uh, woods up there. That looks so nice. Hello. Well, we went down to the waterside and it's been raining pretty much the whole time. And we've just got back to the Salmon Hotel. It stopped raining and it looks like it's cleared up a little bit. It would have been pointless to have uh, visited some of the lakes around the local area because you just wouldn't have seen anything but I'm going to share this view with you. It does look pretty epic even though it's pretty grey it does look very cool. Well Rahul and I are done for the day and we're just about to enjoy a couple of beers in the lounge. I'm going for the Samlin Golden Ale. This is actually the local ale from here. I actually thought last night because I got served it in a pint glass that it was a lager but it's actually an ale and it's absolutely delicious and so cheers to cheers. a great trip again mate. It's been a pleasure. Ah, so good. So this is the main event and I just want to take a moment to appreciate how cool these bowls are. Is it a bowl or a plate? It's in the middle. <laughs> it's in the middle. It's not a bowl or a plate, is it? Oyster. What do you call it? An oyster. An oyster. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a plate or a bowl. It's kind of like a, a plow. <laughs> oh, maybe one too many beers going on down in here. But yeah, I'm appreciating the, uh, the plow. <laughs> well, you're not going to believe it. The day that we're departing is the day that the weather's decided to clear up. It's very lovely outside today. Not sunny but definitely dry and clear of most of the heavy cloud uh, you can actually see everything really well but that's the way it is seems to be the way it always goes but it has been a lovely stay we're just about to uh, check out of the samling hotel go down and get some breakfast and i'll speak to rahul and see if he does want to go and visit anywhere and if he does then that would be a nice little bonus but um, we were planning on just getting back because we have got a little bit of a drive ahead of us so nice to get back uh, ahead of the evening but I just wanted to quickly jump on and say thank you for watching this video I hope you did enjoy it of course I'll leave all of the relevant links uh, to the place we visited in the description box below I might also add in a couple of the locations in the Lake Districts that I had hunted out that I wanted to visit um, because there were some absolutely stunning locations around this area if you're heading that way then it might be useful to uh, take a look and see at those locations for yourself see if there's something that you're interested in visiting because there are some really nice spots so I'll do the same for the peaks as well because um, there's a couple of locations in the peaks as well that I found that we didn't get a time to visit but are also very nice so have a good rest of the week and I look forward to seeing you on the next one peace